how to change your IP address in 2022. That's what we're gonna go over. Now, one of the things, you've probably watched a ton of videos on VPNs and using a VPN to change your IP address. That's great, but it's not the only way to change your IP. And as you can see, here is my IP address. Now it's not actually my IP address. We do have only 177 at the end showing because you don't wanna show your IP address to everybody. That's probably why you're changing your IP address. You know that, but you can see the information that you can get from your IP. First things first though, before we start this video, you need to baseline your IP. What is your IP address? Well, in the description down below, you have a link to what's my IP address. And it's our website where you can go and get your IP address in real time given back to you. This is mine, right here it is. 177 at the end is all you can see. Now, VPNs are powerful, right? Very, very powerful. And that's why things like NordVPN do exist, right? So we can go to NordVPN here. I use NordVPN, click resume. I currently have it off. Click resume, it's gonna connect right like so. If we come back over here and refresh, Boom, now wait, the website's being a little, boom, there we go. Now you can see everything because that's not correct, right? That's not my actual IP address. That's not actually where I live, right? That's why NordVPN is so powerful and they are the sponsor of this video. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash NordVPN to land here. This is NordVPN's basically page for us and you can see NordVPN compared to other VPN providers and you can choose your plan and get started. As you can see, they're currently offering 68% off of a two year plan, which is absolutely incredible. I use Nord, I'm not using them because they offered us a deal, which they did, they sponsored this video, awesome stuff but I use them. They were the first people we went to because I use them every single day, like constantly. God, I've been with Nord for I think three years now. So there it is, it's on my phone, I use it there. You get tons of multiple devices and that's the easiest way to change your IP address. But most likely, let's go ahead and turn Nord off. You're looking for how to do this without a VPN, right? So if we turn Nord off here, we can come back and refresh and you'll be able to see the 177 at the end again. There it is, Nord is off, our IP address is exposed. So how do we fix that? How do we get a new IP address if we don't wanna use a VPN? Well, we're gonna to need to log into our router to do it. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser and get your default gateway. Your default gateway is how you access your router. So to do that, you wanna click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, type in CMD. You have command prompt here, open this up, and then in command prompt, what you wanna do is type IPCONFIG, IP config, exactly like that. Now from this list, what we need to do is basically take a few notes, right? We need to take down one IP address, and that's gonna be our default gateway here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label what it is, that way we know. And then that's going to be for me, 192.168.1.1. Now yours may be a long string of numbers and letters. You can try that. However, in some cases, you also have a number below that, right? That's just numbers. Try both. Uh, sometimes you can only access via your IPv6 address, which is that one that's numbers and letters. And sometimes you can use your IPv4, which is what mine is, right? So either one. Don't be alarmed if it's a lot of numbers and letters like this one. If it is, just use that one. However, ours isn't. Our default gateway is simply 192.168.1.1. So let's go ahead and open up a brand new tab. And then in this tab, we're gonna type in 192.168.1.1. It's gonna pop down a login box. Now for me, mine comes in from the top. Yours may be in a nice GUI, but no matter what, you're gonna need to log into your router. Now in the description down below, we have this. This is how to find your router's password. And it gives you three, four, five different methods to find your router's password. I recommend starting with method one and working your way all the way down through, right like so. Most people, by the way, find it by method three. So don't worry about having to contact your ISP. I know nobody wants to do that. And I'm guessing you've already tried Try to get a new IP that way, at least most people try that first. Nevertheless, once you've logged in to your router, because you've gotten the login box, you've came back over here and you have logged in, we can then change our IP address. Now you might be like, change your IP address? How are you gonna change your IP address from your router? How are you going to do that, Nick? How? Well, it's pretty simple. All we wanna do is come over here to the left-hand side on my router and click on internet. Now what you're looking for on your router is your MAC address, whether it's in security, whether it's in internet, whether it's in wireless, whether it's in connection, it's gonna be in a different place for every router. But what you wanna find is your MAC address, your router MAC address. Right here it is for me. It's in the internet tab, right from the main menu. It's not even in advanced even though yours could be in the advanced or administrative settings, mine's not. It's just an internet right here from the start. Once you're here, what you wanna do is use computer MAC address or clone your MAC address, right? Either one, it could be a clone your MAC address or clone computer MAC address, use computer MAC address. It doesn't matter what it is. Now, before I apply this here, 
0.77, right? That's what this is, 0.77. That's our IP address. My VPN currently is off, right? It is off. So as you can see, 177, my VPN is off. We come back over here. We're using computer MAC address. We're cloning it. Click apply. By changing your MAC address, we're disconnecting from the internet right now, but by changing your MAC address, you're basically changing how your device is represented on the internet, right? It's a little more complicated than that, but that's basically what is happening. And so by doing that, it's tricking your internet service provider to give you a new IP address. Now, this might not work. Some ISPs don't allow this to happen, but 99.99% .99 of them do. I've had charter, I've had local ISPs, I've had tons of different internet service providers across the United States, and I have never had this not work. I've heard of it not working, but I've never had this not work. And so that's why I'm confident making this video because it's gonna work for 99.9% .9 of people. Once this is finished though, we'll be able to go back over to our website and show you that sure enough, our IP has changed. Let's go ahead and let this finish. Changing our MAC address has just finished. And as you can see, use this MAC address is now selected. It's the computer's MAC address there. So that's why that's the case. And now if we come back over here to what's my IP address and we refresh, we will get a brand new IP. As you can see there at the end, 0 0.20 from 0 0.74. Also wanna show that my VPN is not active. Uh, we've also got all this stuff, uh, region and stuff, uh, blur it out because we don't want you to see that. But if we come here to our VPN, we can see that is not active. And that is how you can change your IP address without a VPN. Overall though, it's easier to use a VPN, right? If we come back in here and we activate the VPN, it's going to completely change the IP. So come back over here and refresh and we can take away right about, wait for it, gotta wait for the, the page reload, all of the, like everything, because now it says I'm in Seattle. That's not the case, I'm in Florida. I don't care for you all to know that, but as you can see, our IP address has now changed uh, very much so. Um, the thing about changing your MAC address, right, is it does change your IP, but it's still not protected. It, people can still figure out where you live should it leak again and all that stuff. That's why using a VPN is more important than figuring out how to change it in general. But you should now have a new IP address after changing your MAC address here. It's also worth noting in the description down below, we actually have a link to a MAC address generator. So if you can enter in a custom MAC address, you can do that and get a new IP address that way, right? It doesn't matter what you enter in there. So if you don't have a used computer MAC address, you can actually use a random MAC address and uh, it'll work. So that's why if you have this option, you don't have the use computer, you just have the use this MAC address option, you can do that. It's perfectly fine. So nevertheless, that's how you can change your MAC address. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. We'll see you in the next video and I am out. Peace.